What's up guys, it's your boy AJ Funkohead and on today's video we're going to be talking about one of the most faked pops I have ever seen. Like ever. So let's get started. Alright guys, let's jump into it. This is by far the most fake pop I have ever seen. Now I know a lot of people out there are like, oh this is the most fake pop, that's the most fake pop. No guys, I tried to buy two of these and both pops came were fake. So I know a buddy who, another buddy who tried to buy, you know, he went through five or six of them and all of them were fake. Just, you know, he never ended up getting a real one. Guys, there's just way too many fakes out there. But here it is, the Crow Hot Topic exclusive glow-in-the-dark version. Now, guys, right off the bat, you could tell on the Hot Topic exclusive sticker that you see it says glow-in-the-dark right there. On a legit one, it's green. And on the fake, it's yellow. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but it's definitely yellow. Right there, that's fake. If you look underneath the crow text, uh, again, guys, if you can't see that, I apologize. I could take pictures for you guys. Uh, on the, it says vinyl figure. On a legit one, it's clear. And here, it's blurry. Now, if you look at this Stranger Things Dustin box, you'll see vinyl figure. It's a nice clear font, and it's blurry here. Another way they say you could tell the difference between a real a legit one and a fake one is the warning text. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is a good fake. Because they say the warning, the warning label right here, uh, is supposed to be blurry and very tiny on the fake ones. But I know this is fake, and it's very clear, and it's a, it looks a little bit larger than normal. So I'm gonna say this is a good fake. Now, um, if we jump to the back of the box, they say on a fake, the fake crow pops. The pop logo is way too large, and on the 133, it's supposed to be large. But now here's the thing with this one. The 133 is actually small, but the pop logo is large. So the fact that they're not matching up and, you know, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say it's a good fake. Um, if we look at the text, and let's compare it to the Dustin. You see Dustin right here, nice bold letters close together. And right here on the Crow, they are very spaced out. And no legit Funko Pop has their letters that far apart. It just screams fake, guys. I'll, you know, I'll try to get that, you know, a little closer to the camera, see if you guys can see it. Another thing to tell is on the 133, uh, on a real one, it's bold. And on a fake one, it's very skinny. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I apologize if you can't. Uh, it's 133, it's a skinny font, and it's supposed to be bold. So, again, I don't want to see you guys get ripped off when you try to buy these. Again, there's so many floating out there, guys. It's actually scary. Because The Crow was an awesome movie, and it's an awesome pop. Uh, another thing to tell is the stamp at the bottom. This looks like it was glued with Elmer's glue. Some of the text doesn't match up. The fonts are way too small. And some of them aren't even in the right place. They're a little off. So again, that screams fake, guys. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to think what else there was. But the number one way to tell that your, your pop is fake is by lighting it up. Remember, this is glow in the dark, guys. On a legit one, uh, the eyes will light up. And on a fake one, the eyes will not light. And they will not light up. So let's get this out the box and see if it lights up. And there you have it, guys. The light, the eyes are not lighting up. It's just the face with no eyes are lighting up. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. These are pretty much the only ways to tell if your glow-in-the-dark crow pop is legit or fake. I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. Make sure to smash that subscribe button below. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at AJFunkohead. And stay tuned for the next video. I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.